Hello and welcome to my 484 experience and today we're here to get the sleepwalkers key which is right one right there and then to uh, whisper the cat and try and take it to the castle now I've cleared all the area all the way to the castle except for the Andrews station because we won't need to uh, clear that out but everything else has been cleared so all I've got to do now is whisper the cat and get it to follow me right let's get it started Right, so we've come to the cat. Uh, I was here the other day, I pacified it, it didn't work out brilliantly. And then I came back and found out that the cat couldn't be pacified again. So luckily I made the save and uh, so I loaded that save and I've continued today from that save. Right, which was um, uh, that one. So that's the one I loaded this morning and I've cleared the way to the castle. So now I just have to make sure before I attempt to uh, pacify the cat that I'm completely healed and not addicted to anything. Right, so I'll do that now. Don't move. It's all right. Follow my orders, and it'll be okay. You're coming with me. <clears throat> okay, so we're on the move now. And luckily, this uh, lift's here. Stand there. And I can get the cat to stand there, and then we'll be on our way. So it's moving really slowly. This could take some time. Right, let's get this party started. Stay right there. You're coming with me. Okay, so, oh, that's interesting. The cat's showing me which way to go. This is good. Now, I haven't cleared this. I haven't cleared the um, ruins from uh, Sims. I hope there's no more, more rats around here, I hope. Uh, there was a death claw here earlier and I managed to uh, pacify it away. Where's the cat? Oh, there it is. I've lost, uh, I've lost the control. Hang on, where is it? You, here, now. You're coming with me. Right, okay. Back on it. So, like I say, I've cleaned the area thoroughly. Um, even the uh, self technical school that there's no one in there either i, I, I mean it, it took me from 12 o'clock noon to now it's dusk to clear the area and get the cat and uh, yeah it seems to be going pretty well you just got to continue uh, as soon as the uh, the command goes you just got to re reconnect with the command and uh, everything's good
Oh, where's the cat? Oh dear. Oh, where is he? I better go and get it. I mean, I've, I have thoroughly cleaned it. There he is. It's in the car park. So maybe it chose to go through the car park rather than go around the site. I mean, I've cleaned the Maya lurks that are sitting over there by there. the dock as well. Uh, everything's gone. Like, uh, I've absolutely made sure of that. Stay right there. You're coming with me. So yeah, following on from the video this morning that I uploaded about uh, the, this very mission, um, there's a cat here, cool. Uh, the pictures uh, which depict the cat having the uh, rocket ship, I searched high and low for a rocket ship. I've now got a rocket ship and I will be putting a rocket ship in its inventory when I get to the castle, which isn't far away now. I can't believe that I've managed to do this, this is unbelievable. And I'm sure you guys and girls will love it. Um, yeah, so we're going to the castle. I'm going to put it in the armory where I've prepared a shrine for the cat and I shall try and make it comfortable as possible and uh, let's see how that goes on. Right. Right, so there's the rocket ship, as promised, and I thought I had, I think I have some glasses. I thought, you know, because the dog can wear glasses, or a collar. I mean, I couldn't, I should have given it, um, I should have bought a bandana, I didn't have one. That's uh, annoying. Uh, I haven't got any glasses, okay. Right, well, okay, let's see how we go. Let's try and make the cat comfortable. Check that out, now. Check that out, now. Right, so I'm going to leave the cat in here, uh, try and get it to stay somewhere, and tell it to stay, and then I'll go outside and come back and see what happens. Go. Stay right there. Right, I'm going to stand here, just for a little while, save it, just in case uh, anything goes wrong. We don't know, I mean, it might go hostile and somebody will shoot it, you know, that's the obvious thing that will happen. So, save it. Stand here, go out there, um, do something normal, uh, do the soft tab to get rid of... Soft tab is really just pressing it really gently, and it doesn't say, I'm done with you. Good. So I put the gun away. Uh, go back in. In a minute. Or maybe uh, see Ronnie. She's standing in the doorway. Hi. Looking to resupply? Let me see what you've got. Take a look. Okay, so I've finished dealing with Ronnie and I've just seen the cat. The cat's come outside. Uh, I don't know if it's walked through the door or opened the door. I feel like it's going out the door. You look at it's breaking into a run. It's heading for the exit or the way it came in. You're going to do what I say. And it's gone silent as well. The commands are silent now. But I've got the house, I've got it under command. Yeah, no, look, the door's open. It's, it's definitely come out. Right, so it's on silent. When the whisper system goes silent, it is quite, it can throw you off. But it does work. 
It's just you can't hear the commands anymore. Right, get it to stay there. Now I'm thinking, I'm wondering now, uh, there's a bed in here, all right, which means that the humans will be coming in, and if the cat goes hostile, the humans will kill the cat, and that'll be the end of that. So I think what I'll do is I'll get rid of the bed and replace it with something else uh, that a cat might like, like, uh, I don't know, um, a carpet of some sort. Um, got the dog, got the thing for the dog to go in. Um, but the only other possible thing that would be a, I don't know, a crib, a baby's crib. It's got a rocket on it. See, the baby's crib's got a rocket. This carpet's got a rocket. Everything rocket related to the cat somehow. Well, according to the pictures. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go with that and see what happens. Right, so I've got rid of the chair, so no humans will be coming in here, apart from the people using the, uh, the workstations. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I think what I'll do next is I'll put up some more pictures of cats. There are a number of pictures of cats, and I should decorate the walls with the cats. Hey, pictures, excellent, right. Right, so that's all the pictures of the cat up. Uh, the cat's looking happy. Uh, uh, as you can see, I haven't had my gun out for ages. Um, you know, uh, it's, you know, it's getting to the point where maybe it can coexist together without a gun, without the command system. Right, so I'm gonna go outside now. I'm probably gonna sleep for an hour, come back or do something normal, just what we would do, and then see how that works. Right, let's uh, carry on. Okay, so I've got some balls out of the, uh, the workshop. I'll drop it on the floor. Uh, let's see, I've got a few balls now. It's gone the other way. There, towards the cat. Just ignored it. It's gone straight under there. I'll never be able to get that out from under there. Okay, right, I've got a couple of other things here. I've got a teddy bear and some bones. Drop those on the floor and a ball. I'm making it comfortable. So we'll go outside, have a sleep, and come back. Right. So with a bed out here, that would mean that a human would be here. Maybe the cat would stay in there. I'll put a chair there just in case. Uh, quickly nip in the bed, have an hour's sleep, and see what's happening after that. So there is a settler in here. I wasn't in here. The cat's not hostile. This is looking good, people. This is looking very good. I think we may have cracked it. The fact that the, the cat's not hostile, there's a settler in here, and then the cat's not dead, that's amazing. I think we, yeah, I think we might actually have a, a found a way to adopt cats in Fallout 4. This is amazing, people. This is absolutely amazing. Right, well, you know, I'm going to let you guys get out there, you people get out there, I'm going to let you get out there and enjoy this game for the fullest quality. Uh, yeah, it looks like we've done it. Right, so uh, thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video and I shall see you all again very soon. Bye for now.